My passion for brown trout drives me to fish through rainstorms, wake up at ridiculous hours, and fish miles of water with almost no return on the investment of my time. As time goes on and life becomes more busy, I realize that every moment spent on the water is worth its weight in gold. Which is why when my buddy JP and I planned out a long day of streamer fishing, I knew something good was going to happen. Passion drives much of my decision making while I'm fishing. And after an hour or two with nothing to show for it, we should have just changed plans. But rarely do I make rational decisions when I'm looking for brown trout. Plus, we were already so committed to what we were doing. And then my luck changed in an instant. Oh! Maybe. It did, that didn't, I mean, that could have been a fish. It wasn't very big if it was. Oh, got him. Big rainbow trout, I think. No, it's a brown. No, it's a brown. Yes, sir, they do exist. Uh, probably like 16, 17. I changed streamer colors, and what did it take? 30 minutes? No, I mean, like 10 minutes? Yeah, I went to uh, Olive. Heck yeah, dude. Look how silver that thing is. Look how silver that is. Yep. I thought it was too when I first hit. I had that one hit and I was like, did I hit the bottom or is that a fish? And then the second time I cast in, I was like, oh, that's definitely a fish, boys. Heck yeah, that's a good sign. All right, but before we get too far into this video, and trust me, you're gonna wanna see this video because I tangle with some giant fish. Um, I just want to say this video is actually sponsored by Wild Unlimited. Recently, I've been using their Merino Wool Elements hoodie, which is what I have underneath this, as a base layer for a lot of my fishing trips. Actually, pretty much all of my fishing trips for the past couple weeks. You've seen it in some of the videos where I've caught some of my biggest fish. The hoodie is moisture wicking and odor resistant and keeps me warm even when it gets wet. For those of you who do a lot of deer hunting, you know that Merino Wool has been used a lot in the, like, the hunting industry side of things. And basically Wild Unlimited is bringing that to the fly fishing world, or just the fishing world in general, I should say. Wild Unlimited just wants to bring durable and eco-conscious clothing to the diehard fishermen. So I'm not gonna lie, this hoodie costs a little bit more than your average sun hoodie that you'd buy from a name brand fishing company, but there's a reason for that. And that's because Wild Unlimited is ditching kind of the make it, break it, and replace it style of manufacturing and they're going with circular manufacturing. And that's a process that involves reducing, reusing, and recycling basically every step of the way. So this company is committed to conservation and sustainability, which are two things that are kind of rare in today's world. Anyways, if you want more information on Wild Unlimited, then check out their website, which is wildunlimited.com, and go buy a hoodie if you want. Uh, they're pretty cool. As I said, I've been using this a lot, and you'll probably see me wear it a lot more here when it starts to warm up and I can actually wear this as something more than a base layer. But seriously, shout out to Wild Unlimited for sponsoring this video. It's sponsorships like this that enable me to go out every weekend and chase big brown trout or brook trout or whatever it may be. Anyways, uh, seriously, shout out to them. Go check them out at the link in the description or at wildunlimited.com. And uh, yeah, uh, we're about to show you something I don't think many people get to see, so stay tuned. Jesus! It broke me. You snapped off? Yeah. Dude, feel the teeth marks on this line. It feels like a muskie chewed at the end of that. And then you asked me why that broke. Pull on it. Whoa. I'm telling you, dude, that thing was a huge brown trout. He literally snapped me with his teeth. This is six, yeah, probably. 
I mean, I don't know. This is 16 pounds, this is zero X, 16 pound test. And you wonder why I throw such heavy line for these fish. He came up and swallowed it and it just like. It's just like a, like a serrated blade. Mm -hmm. Dang, dude, that is, that is the, like, that's, that's one of the craziest, like, like insane big brown trout encounters I've had. He so, he quite literally, it would be like ta it would be like taking that tippet and running across the saw blade. The definition of passion, at least in a non-biblical sense, is a strong and barely controllable emotion. And I can promise you nothing else on earth will make me lose my mind like breaking off a big fish. Spending so much time only to be robbed of the one thing you're after takes me out of the game mentally. I start to lose focus and my fishing takes a turn for the worse. It takes me a while to reset and refocus, and if it happens more than once, <laughs> well, oof. Yo! Damn it, dude, how? It is not my day. Perfect hook set, perfect everything. 20 inch fish too. Yes, dude. Let's go. Woo! Ugh. Let him go around. Let him go around. I told you there's gonna be another one in this creek. This hole. I was like, dude, the hole's too good at the head. He lift up his head there. Maybe. We'll see. 18. Uh, 18, 19. It's kind of a slender fish. I'll tell you real. Hold on, let me. Dude, too bad we didn't double up. It's an awesome fish, that. It's a good looking fish. 18, 19, somewhere in there. Yeah. I knew there was going to be another one in there. I was like, dude, that pop, the top end of that hole I didn't even get to. As soon as that fly dropped, she came and just rolled right See, over. See, mine top hit of back it. here, so I was like, I didn't hit the good part of this hole yet. He swallowed that streamer oh too. Oh my gosh! There you go. Let's go. <laughs> there you go, dude. Dude, I'm so stoked. <laughs> and just like that, our day was made. Finding those windows when the big fish are active is half the game. We had fished for hours at that point with little to no action, and then within five minutes, I had two 20-inch fish practically jump out of the water for my fly, and then JP caught a good brown. The water clarity was rapidly changing and I truly believe that the fish know when they're about to struggle to eat for a few hours, if not a few days, and they try to get their last bite. 
I've said this before, but streamer fishing is rarely a game of numbers. Could we have nymphed or used a different technique and caught more fish? I'm sure. But there's nothing quite like watching a brown trout roll on your streamer. So I guess the lesson for this video is to never give up, no matter how horribly your day is going. As always, thanks for watching. Yeah! No!